welcome to Taffy Atome Monkey Sanctuary. Now I'm here, you know, just to feed the monkey with some bananas and wow, I can't wait to, you know, experience. So come with me, let me show you more. So I have here with me uh, Samuel and he's going to tell us all we need to know about the monkey. So let's go. Alright, so once again, you are most welcome to Taffy Atome Monkey Sanctuary and I'm very happy to see you here. And I'm um, here to tell you more about the monkeys and the people of Taffy Atome. So these monkeys you see right here are called the Mona monkeys. And according to research, the Monas can be found in Western Africa between Ghana and Cameroon okay. and part of Nigeria as well. We call them the true Mona monkeys just because they carry two five dots at the base of their tail which make them unique from other species of monkeys. Mm -hmm. These monkeys are very very friendly and their friendship nature comes with banana. banana. No banana, no friendship. So that is why it is good for you to visit them with some bananas and they jump on you to eat the banana by themselves. They peel it and it's so amazing. And one thing about these monkeys, they don't eat anything processed by human. Oh, wow. Unlike some monkeys can eat bread, granites and other kind of processed foods. But these monkeys solely depend on natural foods. They eat fresh corn, ananas, mangoes, local cashew, blackberries, fresh eggs, and a lot more fruits. They found themselves likely in the forest. So those are the things these monkeys depend on. Now, so, that is one key point about the monkeys. And there is one secret about the Mona monkeys you don't know. Wow. When you are of a bad heart or of a bad spirit, these monkeys don't get close to you. Oh, really? Exactly, they read you and they know your status mm -hmm. that you are with a bad intention. Mm -hmm. The Mona monkeys will never jump on you. Wow, yeah, that's nice. Now, I also read in the document, I mean, I read the, um, a brief about this place before coming here, and I read, they said the monkeys are so special to you guys that when they die, you guys bury them, you have, you have, you hold a funeral rites for them as well. Okay, actually. These monkeys are served as the gods of the land and we perform necessary rites for them uh, every annual year. I may say every February in the new year, right. we have the monkeys feast and uh, we call it the Daijijoke or the monkeys feast. So it's actually a festival that we perform the rites of the monkeys and uh, do the necessary uh, performance according to the gods. So it's something that we do every year here. And normally, I may say, these monkeys, according to um, our forefathers, here we don't bury monkeys. We hardly see their dead bodies. It is a concrete belief of the people of Tafi Atomi that these monkeys die and bury themselves spiritually in the forest. Unfortunately, in 2015, we encountered one dead monkey just by a can of Accidentally, a car was on a high speed and knocked down one of the species of this monkey. So that particular day, those monkeys that were close to the scene started generating different screaming sounds. So we got scared. We have to consult the queen in the community with a fetish priest, the chief and elders. They came to pick that dead monkey. They pray onto it and they buried it respectively just behind the fence at the roadside. So since then, up to date, there was nothing like a dead monkey in this territory. And moreover. Many research were carried out for us to see if they could locate a dead monkey or a carcass of a monkey, but nothing like that was discovered ages date up, up to now. So these monkeys are very unique and special and they don't really ask for you to know what exactly is happening, but with human, they entertain you a lot with this. Okay. Wow, and then I think from all he said, is basically the monkeys don't die. <laughs> so let's just they die, but we are... Their lifespan, according to research, yeah. it's about 24 to 30 years. Wow, that's that is long. the Mona monkey's lifespan. Wow. But here, like I said, we hardly see their dead bodies or a carcass of a monkey. Wow. And I may say as well, these monkeys treat themselves medically. We don't call any vet officer or any uh, doctor to treat them by help. Unlike some monkeys that we keep as pet at home. But this one solely depends on special leaves and insects in the forest. In the forest that we haven't taken a walk is measured for over 386 acres square and the people of Tafi Atomi reside in the middle of the forest and the population of the monkeys are over a thousand plus and as you know in our human societies we have leaders same as these monkeys are also having leaders and the leaders are called Grandpa so this is Grandpa the leader oh. of the group so he's the one to eat the banana first before the family also tastes it 
Uh, so can I get him to do that? Yeah, sure. All right, so you just have to keep the banana very tight in your palm. Okay. You don't hold it too loose. Okay. When you hold it loose, he grab it and then friendship becomes cooler. Okay. <laughs> wow, that is amazing. Now give me, give me, give me extra. Yeah. He's in the, she's in the house. Okay? That's amazing. The light, huh? That's amazing. I'm enjoying my, you know, experience right here. The monkey is so friendly and it's just sitting on my arm. Yes. You know, it's quite heavy, but it's such an experience. Anytime you are in the water region, please visit and then, you know, check check them out. They are very amazing, as you can see. And uh, yeah, so far so good. It's almost done. It's almost done. I'm holding it very firmly. He said, give me one, give me one. Okay. <laughs> Eat a banana. Uh, uh, <laughs> It's so amazing. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright.